Welcome back to winter. What's that about, huh? Right. Hi, my name is Nancy Belda, and I have been a parishioner at St. Joseph's for 40-plus years. My boys went to school here. Illinois has become the mecca for those seeking abortions. Believe it or not, women and some men have traveled from states surrounding Illinois to a special destination right here in our very neighborhood. That destination is Access Health Center, located on 75th Street at the border of Woodridge and Downers Grove. Most parents know that permission by a parent or guardian needs to be given for underage children to receive something as simple as an aspirin from a school nurse. Likewise, permission must be given to go on field trips or to get a tattoo. But in the state of Illinois, Governor Pritzker has incentivized school counselors to take underage students, women, to abortion clinics to obtain an abortion. Since the beginning of 2023, 41 babies have been saved at the Access Clinic, yet each week, 50 to 80 babies lose their lives at this clinic. It might as well interest you to know that the health department is not obligated to inspect this clinic. Although nail and tanning salons are mandated to be inspected by the health department, Access Health escapes such mandates and can operate free of any health department inspections. It has been reported that some women are not often given anesthesia prior to surgical abortions. This clinic needs to be shut down, and yet many people have no idea that it exists in our very neighborhood or know of its practices. A word about the 40 Days for Life. Two vigils are held yearly outside of abortion clinics in over 1,000 cities in 63 countries. The result? Nearly 23,000 babies are saved and 123 abortion facilities are closed. Though these results are incredible, they stand against the estimated 64 million babies, 64 million babies lost to abortion in the past 50 years just in the United States alone. It should be noted now that legislative and financial forces that favor abortion are substantial. Illinois is a leading pro-abortion state and thus a very special destination for those seeking an abortion. In recent years, taxpayers provided $550 million to Planned Parenthood. In stark contrast, 40 Days for Life primarily depends on prayer, to overcome these forces. And this past Thursday, Mary Kate Zander introduced us to a new title. Get this, Illinois has adopted the title Abortion Tourism. That points to the fact that Illinois is surrounded by states that prohibit abortion. Governor Pritzker incentivizes travelers to come to Illinois for abortions by offering cut rate hotel fees and a host of other perks. He has also allocated billions of dollars towards the abortion industry. As I think about Lent and the culmination of Holy Week, I am struck by how the human nature of Jesus is revealed to us. While in the Garden of Gethsemane, he prayed to endure the suffering of his passion. Jesus took his apostles with him and asked them to pray to support him. But when he returned to them, he found them asleep. And Jesus said to them, could you not pray for me just one hour? I am asking you if an unborn child could know his or her fate, facing an end to their life through abortion, might they not say to us in their stress as Jesus did, could you not pray for me just one hour? Could you not pray for me just one hour? I am prayerfully asking you to consider just one hour of prayer this 40 Days for Life campaign. All we need to save the hundreds of babies this year is a body standing silently, praying quietly. We do not need you to move. We do not need you to take a single step, say a single word, hold a single sign. Just your presence is all we ask. I thank you from the bottom of my heart.